Game 7 of the regular season of Bulldozer Power are away to the Peninsula Transport team who are so far on a 3-3 three three season. Uh, they picked up Papal Event Horizon uh, in the off-season and uh, he's a very, very good player. Uh, several changes in the lineup for us today. Steve Morrie back in at catcher, obviously enough. Mars Mullo's taking a seat because his confidence is all over the shop and uh, we've brought in Lynn Mephisto in a place. And hopefully that, that'll work. But uh, Cindy is up first, as ever. Uh, had a tremendous game for us last week. Uh, really, really got us motivated with a um, uh, with a grand slam. Uh, it's unlucky Jackson pitching for Peninsula Transport. And Cindy will be here waiting for her pitch. Which, it wasn't that one, but Cindy's dead quick. She wasn't quite quick enough to beat the tag there, though. Uh, here is Kojak Mr. On. Uh, solid as ever last week. But, I mean, everybody everybody had a pretty solid game last week, apart from Jeff Conservative, who the team doctor is reporting to be unwell. Uh, he is uh, he's decidedly wounded. Kojak swung at that one. It was probably going wide, but we weren't going to take that chance. No, not even slightly. That's inside. You can't fool me. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. That was, a, that was a high one there, Kojak, but on two strikes, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to pop it up and get out. His failure, uh, also a successful candidate. I should, I should stop introducing them that way. I think it's, it's rather hampering my ability to play well. Um, yeah. Uh, news from the, uh, from the controller side of things. No changes. Uh, we're, we're just going to hope that it, it manages to hold together uh, for the length of the game, and, uh, and that would be lovely if it did. Yeah. Full count for failure. And we finally get one to the outfield, and it's actually gone a respectable distance as well, although this is going to be close. Failure gets to his mark. Lovely job. A two-base hit there for USC's failure is Jack Mercury. Started to show some signs of life in the last game. We really do need some, uh, some more life from him here. But uh, we're, going to, we're going to have to wait and see if that's just a pipe dream. Uh, ball two, yeah, okay, come on, come on, come on. There's ball three. We'll take the walk, but I'd rather, I'd rather get a good hit, to be honest, because uh, then failure could, uh, you know, round some bases and get in. Here comes Zoltan. Well, we we know what to expect from Zoltan, which is the unexpected. Uh, he's uh, a solid player, and no, 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 I'm not, I'm not doing nothing. You, you can't, uh, you can't pin nothing on me. There you go, there you go, that one's gone foul. Oh, unlucky. I, I even tried stealing there. I pre I'm, I'm fairly certain you caught that, but... Uh, ball one. Yeah, here we go. All right, failure. Ready, 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 go. It's good. And Zoltan's come up with exactly what we wanted. Beautiful. First time I try a steal in forever. Deliberately, that is. And, uh, and uh, Zoltan hits a big three-run homer. Uh, there. I didn't think we were going to get anything from this inning, but uh, what do you know? We did. That's good. I've become obsessed with stealing all of a sudden. I've got two fast players between Cindy and, uh, and Ulysses who can, uh, who can potentially get a steal. And that's good. We've already shattered the confidence of unlucky Jackson. Uh, that's, that's good to see. Uh, well, uh, let's hope we can get the pressure on. Strike two. Ball two. Steve! It's going nowhere. Okay, all right, fine. No, that's all right. We've got three runs. Hey, good. Good opening inning there from BDP. Uh, Mighty Buffon will be up to... Well, yeah. He's got his hair care products completely in line with uh, with reality. And it's Viv Crumble who's pitching for us today. She's our third best starting pitcher. Our fourth best starting pitcher isn't allowed to play anymore. Ominous Bob, uh, having given up... 3,000 runs in one game. Uh, he's not. He's not playing for us ever again. No, not unless I absolutely have no choice. Uh, come on, Viv, a strikeout here, and you'll be golden for the rest of the game. Guess that was too much to hope for. But there's Limafisto making an impact immediately with a catch. Good. Here he is. His papal event horizon. You know him. You like him, or at least you barely tolerate him. I think he might have a new batting stance, actually. Uh, well, let's see if that works for him. It doesn't look comfortable, I'll tell you that for nothing. Uh, well, where's that off to? <laughs> Steve goes, I can't even be bothered with that. Come on, Viv, what are you playing at? Yeah, I know. All right, yes, it's all right. We'll, we'll make it work. The same again, but different. 
Uh, same again. That one's got a Jack Mercury. We'll pick it off and fling it over to Kojak. Out number two. Kira Refund up next to Catcher. Uh, she's showing the signs of having played Catcher for a couple of weeks, which usually is uh, a bit of dubious knee, I think is a uh, medical way of, of uh, describing that. Uh, just uh, keep flinging them in. That one's popped up. Steve jogs over casually, and they're all fighting over who's going to catch it, but Steve's got it. Three up, three down. Bulldozer Power showing the way in the first inning. Rudy Capslock up next. He's batting 438 this season, which for a C plus player is uh, it's pretty pretty strong. Good lad. In for crampons, of course. He's out. Um, uh, who uh, who we retired to the bench and may make an appearance on a special occasion later on. Here is Lynn Mephisto with her first at bat. She uh, she came in as a, a uh, pinch hitter uh, last week, I think, and uh, didn't get anything from it. Well, okay, she's, she tried to get something from that. I don't know if it's got the... Has it got the distance? Yes. Well, the future of Mars Mullo looks to be in doubt as Lima Fisto puts uh, one over the big fence there and uh, she looks pretty confident about it. Claims it. Jobs are good and uh, and is Viv. She's in the mood. She's locked in. She's painfully thin. Um, yeah. I don't know if she thinks that th helps her throw or not. But uh, I'd be I'd be very worried if I was her. I'd, I'd possibly seek some medical assistance to uh, get her on some supplements, perhaps. Uh, you know, just to just to bring her weight up a little bit. And uh, I mean, Viv is quite happily just wait. Oh, well, Viv, no, Viv, you just leave it next time. Because that was that was on the dubious line. That could have been a, that could have been a walk. You could have had a walk there, Viv. But it's okay. Don't worry. It's all right. Cindy Wren. Cindy, Cindy Wren. Cindy then. Back round for her second at bat. And uh, we're waiting for waiting for something golden. Waiting for something golden. That's another ball. Ooh, I thought that was a strike. And Cindy gets to uh, Lollop out there to the first base. That's Lollop. It's a, a very leisurely way of, uh, of progressing around the bases. As Kojak comes up to try and redeem herself for her first at bat, which was not the strongest we've ever seen, but it's uh, it's all going it's all going lovely so far. Oh, how's it going? Lovely. Well, uh, it's not going very lovely now, is it? No. Kojak there is out, and that's the side of the title. They can't all be gold. It's Poncho Ramirez next up for the Peninsula Transport Team. Uh, he's got two home runs this season. Clearly fancies himself. Uh, we don't fancy him though. I mean, he doesn't. He's not filling them trousers particularly well. Uh, but uh, no, he's uh, you know, gangly, gangly looking kind of dude. Mercury, lovely stop. Can he get the ball there in time? What a bit of fielding, Jack Mercury there, showing that maybe there is a reason he's on the team. His Bernard learning curve. Uh, he's a he, he's an A A minus rated player, but uh, there's nothing apparently special about him. I had to finish that sentence. Despite the fact that he just hit one that had the fence bit off. Crying out loud there, team. Come on, get it together. Um, yeah, that would have been over a fence elsewhere. Here's Cuckoo Jorski. Heck of a lot of power for Cuckoo. Three home runs this year. Well, we don't want to see that, do we? No, just keep it, Steve. You're not going to throw it there. I mean, you'll just tire yourself out, so don't even bother. No. The old, the old steal second is a bit of a gimme, if I'm honest. Yeah, and thank you very much. All right, out number two is Chester Crankfons. Uh, he's batting 750, which can only mean that he's only played one game. Or maybe he's come in as a reliever a couple of times. Well, that's pitchers, isn't it? Yeah, all right. Uh, a, a designated hitting... Res out! Oh, what a play! You see that throw from Zoltan? I've never seen that happen before. Zoltan there with a cannon to home, uh, getting the man out. And uh, we retain our, our our perfect score line at the moment. As uh, as failures in for his second swing of the day, his first swing, pretty good. Yeah, unlucky Jackson will probably come up on 50 pitches pretty soon, especially if she keeps throwing like this. And uh, and failure once again, cranking one out to the middle. Good to see. And uh, he's taken his he's taken his base is uh, is Jack Mercury uh, coming off a walk first time around 
Let's, uh, let's see. Go on, Ulysses. He's there, look. I've stolen a base, everybody. Deliberately. It was after observing that actually making the throw out to second was uh, was very, very difficult. Uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a go. I, gi I gave it a go, and it worked. Uh, there's a new weapon in the Bulldozer Power Arsenal. I'm sure it's going to go well. Ooh. Yeah, yeah there's the strike. Go on. Go on, miss. I dare you. I always love it when we manage to get more than one walk from a player in a game. There we go. Going for doubles. Failure will get in. And uh, Jack Mercury there uh, with, the, uh, with the double off his hits. Super job. Here's Zoltan. Not saying anything about Zoltan, but he's, he's hit a home run and he made a very nice throw from centre field. Uh, I can ask no more from him in this game. No more needs be asked. Yep. No, he's, uh, he's already done everything we need from him today. He can just take it easy. But obviously, more hits would be good. That was... No way was that a strike. Not... No chance. Come on, up. Better go to spec savers, mate. All right, here's Big Steve. Uh, Big Steve, not, uh, not that successful uh, from his last at-bat, but uh, Big Steve and the phrase not that successful seem to go relatively hand-in-hand. Uh, I think uh, next time the draft rolls around, we, we may well be looking for a new catcher. Not least of all because it may facilitate us finally dispatching Julius Hardware. And then uh, and Big Steve can be our backup. Or maybe I just need to put Big Steve on a training program. Both of these things are certainly possible. Uh, but it would be nice for, for Big Steve to be able to, you know, carry it a little bit more. Uh, as the uh, game progresses, that's certainly... Rudy Caps Lock! We don't think much of him, other than he's relatively solid, and he's banged one over the fence. And uh, and this is this is starting to look uh, like a lot of trouble for uh, for Peninsula Transport. Is uh, is Lim Mephisto? Will be going well. It makes my home run look rather less special, doesn't it? Now that now that everybody's getting one. Um, yeah, I mean you've had a whole bunch of no-name players bang it over the fence today. What are you swinging at that for? Pack it in. There's no rush. She's going to get caught there, and that will uh, that will retire the side. But uh, it's very, very hard to say that I'm disappointed with the way things are going so far, as this one is an absolute uh, an absolute washout as far as the PT team are concerned. But the game is not yet over. I'm building in an element of mystery. Uh, that was uh, that was Viv's 18th pitch of the afternoon. Just so you know. Uh, whereas uh, whoever it is pitch out, Jackson for, uh, pitching for the uh, Peninsula Transport team has done 60 pitches. We're coming up on 20, which gives you some kind of indication of the flow of the game so far. The flow is, we're doing quite nicely, thank you. Right, I've had enough of you, son. You can eat my change up. Try that. Yeah. Go on, Steve. Go on, St Steve. Steve, 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 Steve. You know you want it. You could have got in the dugout and had that one, Steve. You can't let them chump you like that. Uh, well, still trying to get this guy out. That'll do. No, it won't do. That one went foul. Oh, crikey. Come on. There it is. Viv gets him eventually. Only took her eight or nine pitches, but she got there eventually, and he's done for. Here's Jackson, who they may well substitute. Or not, as the case may be. Well, at this stage of the season, you will be seeing teams having uh, a few of their pitching staff uh, a little under the weather with regards to fatigue and so forth and therefore you're going to have to stick with your starter for a little while even if it means it's going to cost you uh, an awful lot of runs it's going to happen this one's all you Steve it's got you written all over it baby get it at the end of three it's Baldo's power seven the Peninsula Transport team nothing yes all right, okay, yeah, don't get overconfident. Here's Viv. Viv, I've put the controller down. Now I'm going to pick it back up again. You can you can go for it whenever you fancy it. 67th pitch of the day, and she beans. Oh, I mean, that felt like it was deliberately thrown at Vivian Crumble there. Uh, there wasn't much on it, and Viv just gave her a look that said, do you later. Uh, back round to Cindy, and Jackson is a complete disaster uh, now. Um, 
Her pitching has gone completely to pot. We managed to run out Viv Trumbull there, but I imagine she's probably limping. It's okay though. We got Cindy onto first. Go on, Cindy. Go on, Cindy. Go on, Cindy. She's in. Yep. Love it. Love it. Yeah, we'll have much more of that. That's an element of excitement that we've not previously witnessed. That one's gone as well. Cindy's going again. And she's there. Takes third. Uh, low effort from Cindy Vapid is getting the job done. And there's a walk for Kojak. Their picture is broken. They have got to take this picture off. Now. Nope. Is Ulysses failure? Okay. All right. Ball one. Yep. That could have worked, but it was a little bit. It was a little bit inside for my taste. I like them. Uh, I like them. You know, sixty-six percent in the target zone is is what we're after. But this is this is shaping up to be another walk. There it is. Failure gets his stroll, and that loads up the bases. And we're at a. Uh, I believe we've got one out. One out. One out. Here's Jack Mercury. Opportunity to be a hero. Opportunity to be a hero. No guarantee of heroics is inferred, implied, or guaranteed. Or even suggested. That's good. That's good. Go on, everybody. It's a grand slam for Jack Mercury. Uh, you have to blame the pitcher. And you have to blame the coaching staff for not taking that pitcher off. Because there is now an unassailable lead uh, for Bulldozer Power. We may only be in the... There we go. Yeah, it had to happen. Uh, Tiger Chain Gang's coming in, who also has a confidence problem. Excellent. Uh, Zoltan is uh, is at bat. Yeah, this guy's just getting his aim in. I figure, given that that's three in a row, where the uh, the the on target capability has been a little bit wild. Zoltan there swinging for a lot off the fence. That's all right. As mentioned, we don't need anything more from Zoltan today. He's done enough. Uh, it's big Steve. Steve, if ever there was an opportunity for you to actually, you know, ratchet up your uh, your batting average, today is the day for that. Failing that, what would be even more amusing were if you were to if you were to brain this pitcher, uh, that would be that would be magnifico. I mean, we've already got this one in the bag. I might start tanking a few innings just to get the game over sometime before we all, you know, retire. Steve with a nice hit. Keep going, lads. No. Oh, couldn't quite get it to the fence there. Steve Morey, good effort. Can't knock it. No, that's fine. He did He did put some steam on that one, and that was good to see. Uh, his Rudy Caps lock, he's uh, locked in now. His confidence has been built up significantly. That's good enough. Let's go for two. Yeah. Lead off. Let's go for three. There it is. Why? Okay, that's... Uh, that's Amping the score up a little bit more is Lynn Mephisto. Uh, one of two today, including that home run to uh, to, to open her batting. And uh, and we are destroying the confidence of the opposing pitchers. Just destroying it. Uh, with malevolence and uh, more than a little bit of vindictive behaviour. We do have a, uh, a run deficit in the uh, in the season so far. So, don't just die. So stupid. Um... That's okay, that was me. That was me, that wasn't you. That was me, that was me. I can't blame you for that. I right, swung at a high one. Look at a turn two count. Made me nervous. Here's Papal Event Horizon, who I imagine is rather regretting his career choices uh, over the last few months, where he's he switched team to uh, this bunch of jokers. Uh, but hey, uh, you know, he's still a good player, and, uh, and I'm expecting to see a strong performance from him at some point today. He's probably going to carry this team out of the doldrums. Zoltan, you can can you get that? No, mate, no, can't. And there he is, Event Horizon opens the scoring for Peninsula Transport with a home run. Yeah. There one bright, bright spark of the afternoon so far. It's okay. It's okay. They will hit them from time to time. Viv is still looking pretty capable. Uh, her confidence is on point. Uh, but uh, she's uh, she's gonna need to, you know, hold it together. So, I mean, she's only pitched 31 pitches so far today. So uh, there, there's plenty of plenty of arm left. You do worry about how much arm they've got left, you know? You, you go like, oh, have you got enough arm left to, to take us the distance? You go, oh, I've got plenty of arm. You sure? Yeah, no, no, arm I've got in abundance. All right, okay, good. 
There you go. Clear off. And uh, another strike out there for Viv. That's good to see. Here's Poncho Ramirez. And, uh, he's uh, he's done nothing so far, but that's the story of the game. So, well, okay, I'll, I'll just shut up, shall I? Probably the best idea. Zoltan fling out the third. Giving up a double. All right, okay. All right. Maybe they've maybe they had a good team talk in the dugout there, and it's and it's managed to pull some confidence back together for the team because uh, they they do seem to be figuring out gradually how to play the game. I mean, it's nice of them to do so when we're midway through. Cindy with a rather optimistic go there, but Zoltan sliding in with the catch. Oh, do you want to throw it back there, Zoltan, in case they try something? There you go. Good catch there, Jack. Super work. Come on, Zoltan's on point. All you need to do is execute. All right, speaking of executing, it's Cuckoo Joyski. Strike one. Yep, go on, go on, go on. And no, no. Okay, all right, there we are. Yep. Come on. We put it away. Oh, we do like throwing a strike out. That's a thing we like. Here's Viv. She's uh, 0 for 1 and hit by pitch today, but it hasn't really hasn't really dampened her enthusiasm for the afternoon. You know what, Viv? Swing away, girl. Swing away. Oh, yeah, that's good. Go on, go on. Ah. I only wanted a single. It would have, that would have been lovely. That would have been, that would have been lovely. No, anyway, back around to Cindy. Yeah, we don't mind. No, we don't mind. We, don't, we never expect much from our pitches, but it's always a delight when they actually get something done. There's the Cindy Vapid hits, and uh, she'll be she'll be round at first. Are we going to try and take second? Uh, I think we might. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, don't go straight away. I think he's going to try a pick off here. Nope. Kojak, what are you playing at? All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Pitch number two. Oh, this one's going to be very close, and it's out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're going to have to commit a little bit earlier, I think. Yeah, that's okay. No, look, we're up 12 to 1. We can afford to take the occasional chance. And uh, and that's that's what we did. So, Cindy Vapid there, being caught stealing. Kojak with a, a real... Oh, crikey, that took someone's face off. Um, and, uh, with a real nothing hit from, from Kojak, and, uh, and she got to sit down as well. You were there, you saw it. Speaking of Kojak, she's going to try and catch this. And does. All right, here comes Jemaine up discharge. Uh, he's not done anything yet, but he's only had one go, so, you know, we won't hold it against him too badly. We'll hold it against him a little bit, obviously, because you've rather got to. All right, see if he'll fall for this kind of caper. There you go, something like that. Well, I, whether or not he fell for it is irrelevant. He's popped it up skyward, and uh, the bib's underneath it, and that's uh, another one away. Here's Tiger Chain Gang. Are they going to keep him in? Yep. Their bullpen must be an absolute disaster area. They've put in two pitchers who really weren't fit to uh, to, to step up today. And uh, they're not substituting them even though the scoreline is a wrecking disaster area. And uh, and that can only mean, where's that going? Well, he was never going to swing at that one, Viv. Come on. Think about it. That's a good move. That'll do. Now number three. At the end of five... It's BDP, 12. Peninsula Transport, 1. Ulysses Failure next up. He's 2 for 2 today. He's at a double, he's at a single, he's at a walk. Super, super job. Uh, Tiger Chain Gang, his confidence has actually rebuilt a little bit. Plenty of speed on that one from uh, from Failure, but caught straight out by the shortstop. Yeah. Here's Jack Mercury. He's at a home run, he's at a double, he's at a walk. And uh, there he goes. He's had a single as well. He's he's done it all. He's had the lot. I uh, couldn't catch worth worth the toffee, no but uh, the it's, uh, it's not the end of the world. Zoltan now. One runner on base. Zoltan going to do something for us here? Is he just going to stand there having a shimmy? It's hard to say until we until we see him swing the bat in the direction of the ball. We just don't know. Him. Well, there he is, swinging the bat in the direction of the ball. It's got plenty of height. It's got plenty of distance. And Zoltan has mashed it. Mashing it. He's brought his potato masher out. And he's he's pounding down on the... Uh, I believe that legume 
potatoes. Potatoes are legume, aren't they? They operate in a legume kind of fashion. They're bringing in... Uh, Linda doesn't care. I would say possibly later than they should have done, who as a relieving pitcher is locked in, highly confident, and a very, very good player. So it's a slightly odd decision they've waited this long when we've been making a mess of them. Oh, Steve's there with a nice hit, but he's he's going to get out. No, no, Steve. Oh, there you go. No, don't you be making that noise. Don't you be making that noise. It's because I got excited. Oh, no. Yeah, I know I had a look last week to see if I could find a new controller, and I just can't. It's because I'm, I'm on Xbox 360 controller, the finest controller to have ever graced the planet. And, uh, yeah. I'll keep you appraised of the situation. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Lin Mephisto's up to bat, incidentally, and we've got runners. Just a, a runner on first, and uh, we've got two outs, and it's the top of the sixth. Okay, there you go. Just bringing you back into the game from a, a brief break uh, out into the real world. I want to want to up the immersion again, all right, so you can get back in the moment. You're in the moment? Good. Good effort, Lin, but you're going to be out. She's out, look. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that's uh, another two runs batted in. Can't complain about that. And it's Mighty Buffon up to hopefully break his duck for the day. Uh, he's still locked in. He's, he's highly confident, despite the fact he's been playing like a chump. So, I mean, evidently, he's been taking the right kind of medication this morning and should possibly have to do a urine test after the game. That one's gone a long way. Zoltan got the legs. Yes. So that was Zoltan jumping over the height of the fence to make the catch. Zoltan Zoltan, he's having the day, people. Um, he's uh, he's a god amongst men, is Zoltan Zoltan. That one's gone foul. Mercury made a kind of partial stop there, but couldn't quite keep a glove on it because he can't catch. Um, here's Kira Refund. She's out of two today as well. She also has tiny little feet. No, actually, her feet are different sizes. The, uh, the right foot there appears to be tiny little, whereas the left foot appears to be the normal size. Uh, we'll keep you informed if there were any further... Do Flipping it, that one almost took Viv's head off. That uh, wouldn't have been an idea. No. Okay, one one out now, and uh, runners first and second is Poncho Ramirez. He's had one hit today, but it was for a double. So, uh, so that'll make him happy, certainly. Uh, Viv now, 55 pitches deep in the day. She's uh, she's still looking good enough. We can keep her in a bit longer, especially given the, uh, the shortage that we currently have. Uh, in terms of relievers. We've got the tag out at three, so there's still runners first and second, but that's two outs now. Bernard Learning Curve was... Uh, he's there. He's got some nice sunglasses on, and he's got a chin that you could use to uh, insert item here. Well, that was a that was a promising bit of work from, uh, from Learning Curve, and they've now got the bases loaded up, and it's Cuckoo Jorsky who will be hoping to turn this opportunity into points. And we will be hoping that Viv can hang on in there and avoid that eventuality. Uh, yeah, nothing but junk, I think. Uh, Viv, please. Because bad batters tend to have trouble with uh, with junk pitches. Almost, almost. This one, whereabouts? I want it just foul. Right there. That'll do. Throw the first. Good save. Good save. Well done, team. Held that one together at the end of six. It's 14 to Bulldozer Power. One to Peninsula Transport. And Vivian Crumble's up to bat. Do we want her for another inning or we take her out now? Let's take her out now. Yeah. No sense in no sense in burning her up out or over. Uh, well, Viv, you've played well. Yeah. Good. Uh, hammock. Hammock. Number one. It's Veronica Hammock, everybody. 27 feet tall. But tiny little feet. You wouldn't have thought that feet that size could support something 20 feet tall, but she gives it a go. 27 feet tall. She's put a lot on that one, but I don't think it's... He has got the length. And Veronica Hammock there, making the kind of impact and making my substitution decision look incredibly wise. Uh, to be fair, it is everybody gets a home run day. Uh, but uh, let's let's not uh, let's not diminish the uh, the the coaching prowess that went in the managerial managerial prowess that went into that decision uh, around Cindy Vapid. Cindy's having a bit of a quiet day, 
but she doesn't need to shine every single week. As long as she has a, uh, a modicum of consistency overall, it's all good. She's gone. Yep. Kojak. Now, Kojak had a dubious week last week, but only in a, in a fielding sense. What she's, uh, But she's locked in, in mood-wise. Uh, but she's uh, she's had a stinker so far today. But there we go. Finally getting a base hit. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, we can we can ease down on the the Kojak criticism a little bit. Speaking of easing down on criticism, is Ulysses failure is uh, who's been rock solid for a couple of weeks now. This is the point at which he's getting everybody out, isn't it? Yep. You know it. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's put some jet fuel under that one, but only in terms of altitude. It doesn't have... No, hold on. No, I'll take that back. A Ulysses failure home run, everybody. And that's another two for Bulldozer Power. Yeah, 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 yeah. We used to get excited about this, you know, but it's so it's so commonplace in this game that, uh, that there's really no sense in that happening. Jack Mercury is feeling overconfident, decides to go for it on the first pitch, and he's going to be caught easily. Just soak up a couple, Jack. Soak up a couple. Well, here is uh, Zoltan Zoltan. He's had two home runs today, five runs batted in, and uh, and his fielding has been absolutely godlike. Um, and yet his confidence, his confidence hasn't improved at all. He goes, yeah, whatever. Uh, to be honest, his confidence never goes down, never goes up. He is Zoltan Zoltan. He's inscrutable and he's hit by the ball. How's, how's that knee, Zoltan? Hold it together, son. Steve Murray, on the other hand, is not feeling confident. He is 0 for 4 today and uh, and could just do with a, a nice, simple base hit here to, to stop him falling into the doldrums where I have to consider bringing on hard... Oh, yes! On hardware. And there's a base hit for Steve Murray. Good. Good. Just got to... I worry about the mental health of my players, see? Because I'm a considerate manager. Um, that's, you know, that's important. And uh, that's that'll be the end of that then. Yeah. I know, but oh, it's all progress, isn't it? Uh, right, so there is a, a quick look at Jeff Conservative, who is in no way fit to play. So he won't be. Uh, second up is Disneyland. He came in to relieve last week, so we try and avoid using him. Tulip Banter's ready to go, as is Buster Flight Risk. Interesting. Yeah, um, we're going to go with Buster... Because in a game where we're leading by this much, I would rather have, uh, the, I'd rather use up um, a, a bad pitcher, even though it might lead to them scoring a few more runs. He's got a whole two choices when it comes to pitches. We'll be using both of them. All right, Buster. Lovely job. What do you think? Do you think he's going to expect that again? Well, he hasn't seen anything else yet. No, but let's show him the other one. Okay. Okay, well, he's, he's hit that into the stand. He's now seen everything we've got. Okay. Now, let's put it somewhere else. No, that's that's not really what we had in mind, is it? No, let's put it somewhere else. Put it over here. Popped up. Good. Caps locks underneath it. How's that? All right. Okay, here's Jermaine uh, of the Ark Discharge and his jawline from hell. Uh, what should we start it with? Well, let's start with number two, and then we'll go back to number one. All right, there you go. There's number two. Here's some one. Straight down the middle. Beautiful. He hit that foul because he can't play baseball. All right, okay. Yep, straight down the middle again. Lovely. And then try and catch him on this one. That's nice. Nope. In at the stands. Flaming time wasters. Just get it over with. You know I'm going to get you out, so why even bother trying? See, look. Cindy goes, ah, oh, why did he even bother trying? Out number two. Here's the pitcher. Linda doesn't care. She's tense. And pink substituted. Oh, wow. Oh, they really are. They really are desperate then, aren't they? Uh, who do they bring in? It's Casey Jones they brought in to uh, take the place of the pitcher. They figure, yeah, yeah, now we should worry about being 16 runs behind. And let me tell you, being that many runs behind, you should just give it up. Oh, they got that. Okay. Okay. I, I, I thought that was going, but it wasn't. It was off the wall. Here's Buffont. He's 0 for 3 now. Uh, try one of these. No. Try, try one of those, but sort of on target-ish. 
There you go. Steve, 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 Steve. Steve Murray, everybody, with a catch. Three outs, and they're bringing Henk Vengeance into pitch against us next. Uh, as we uh, go into the top of the eighth, it is 17 to Bulldozer Power. One to Peninsula Transport. Okay, it's Lynn Mephisto. She's one of four today. That one was a home run, but uh, she is now somewhat undermining my confidence in her, although that's that rebuilt with a base hit. Super. Yep, good, good going. Well done, team. Here is flight risk. All right, Buster. A uh, simple rule here. Stand there. Okay? Just stand there. Oh, he's not standing there. He's going for it. And that's a fine, fine hit with, with plenty of mustard on it. Uh, and that's, that's gone absolutely beautiful. Uh, he's only, only good enough for a single base hit, but that was just the job. Round Cindy. Runners now first and second. Uh, no outs. Top of the eighth. And uh, Vengeance here having a little bit of trouble finding the uh, strike zone. That's ball three. No strikes yet. Yeah. Cindy doesn't waste any time. She's going to get herself out. She's going to get a mate out. But we have advanced a runner to third. I would say that that had been the plan all along. But it wasn't. And, uh, and it falls to Kojak Mistron to try and turn this into a run. If the ball ever goes over the plate. At the right height. I should have stipulated that beforehand. No, at the moment, that's not what's happening at all. And that's a walk for Kojak. All right, just keep getting on base. That's all we can ask for. Here's Unice's failure. He's had a walk, a double, a single, uh, two runs batted in, and a home run. Ball number one. Okay. Ball number two. The accuracy of Mr. Vengeance there is not uh, what you might call all that. Uh, it's ball three. Strike one. Failure's just not our bothered. He'll take that one, though, and that'll be a run. Kojak's going, ah, oh, I would have loved to get the credit for that, but, uh, oh well, never mind. And uh, here's Jack Mercury. He's had a home run, a double, a single, a walk. He's had five runs batted in, and he's three of four at bats today. There's uh, ball number one. Yeah, I know. Unsurprisingly, there's the next one. Yeah. And you know what they say about balls? Darn. Yeah, you know, I was going to say, you know, three come along at the same time. But in this case, we had a strike in between. And uh, Mercury gets a walk as well. And, and I think this strategy of just waiting for him to, to get it wrong is, uh, is the way to go. Here's Zoltan. He's had two home runs, a single, five runs batted in, and he's been hit by the pitch. Well, if uh, being hit by the pitch is your thing, Zoltan, you've got the right pitcher playing against you uh, to uh, to make that happen again. Alternatively, if you feel like hitting it out of the park again, you have my blessing to do so. It's a good hit, but he's gonna. It's not gonna work, Zolt. Oh, it is gonna work. Then it's uh, out of play. A fielding error there. Coughing up runs galore. Uh, Zoltan there with a very lucky turn of events and uh, that's the last we'll see of Henk Vengeance Larry Splendid coming on in his place they are going through the entire bullpen to try and find a way to to beat Bulldozer Power you know what I know from uh, history is that the only people who can beat Bulldozer Power are themselves there you go that'll do for this inning we've done it oh what a mistake Arc Discharge there tried the tag missed and what was surely going to be an out isn't well, it's Caps Lock. He's had a double, a single. He's got three runs batted in, and he's got a home run. And there's another single and another run as well. Well, we've we've not seen a game like this one since the very first Bulldozer Power season, uh, where once in a while we would put 30 past the team. Uh, that's certainly possible today. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, but it's, you know, you can't... At this stage, you wouldn't rule it out, although that's out. So, uh, unless they drop it, of course. I mean, that wouldn't have surprised me, but uh, it was Papal Event Horizon. There. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Anyway, five more runs for BDP as uh, Papal Event Horizon comes into bat. He's the only player on the team who's worth anything at all, and he's had a home run today. Yeah. 
Now, in theory, because uh, uh, obviously the teams were all reinforced in the off-season, uh, Peninsula Transport should have taken the opportunity to bring in some quality players. And there he goes. He's going to put that one over. Flipping heck. Look at the speed on that. Crikey. Second deck. Whoa. Event Horizon has got the fury. But he alone cannot carry this team. He'd like to, but he's not allowed by law. Here's uh, Kira refund. Uh, flight risk goes, that's bad, right? Because, you know, he's not all there. Uh, that one's gone out as far as failure. Has he got the distance? No, he hasn't. Couldn't quite uh, get a glove to that one, so that'll be a base hit. Ramirez. That's all. Message ends. That one's popped up skywards. Mercury's looking for it and has found it in the air where we expected it to be. Here's Bernard Learning Curve. He's had a couple of singles so far today. Uh, but that's as far as he's got insofar as, you know, baseball stats. Uh, he hasn't had any other big baseball stats other than a couple of singles. That's, uh, that one's gone a little bit low. Uh, Buster, we need one more inning from you after this. Do you reckon you can manage it without coughing up 20 runs. Just, I'm asking for a friend. Caps lock, caps lock, caps lock. What a catch! Caps lock there with a diving catch. A thing of beauty. And uh, and the fielding team, who have been playing well today, uh, keep uh, keep flight risks, dreams alive of, uh, of being able to keep this win intact. Yeah, of course you anticipated a flipping four-finger fast-forward to start with because I, I've only got I've only got four seam. Same difference. Uh, I've only got two pitches. It was inevitably going to be one of them. Going to go, ah. In the 50-50 bet, I chose the right 50. Mephisto picks off that one, and that'll be three outs. As we head into the ninth, Bulldozer Power in a... I think we could call this a commanding position. Do you want to sub him? Nope, we don't need the points. Keep him in. I don't want to burn another... You know, what if what if I were to bring on another reliever, right? And that reliever were to be hit by the pitch. And he's he's got a base hit anyway, so what are we worried about? Yeah. Buster Flight Risk there, landing himself on first base. is a thing of beauty. Is Cindy Vapid looking enviously at that performance, going, yeah, all right, I used to be able to do that. And does so. Good work, Cindy. Excellent. Well, okay. Well, I mean, you know, they've got to be feeling the fear again because we're no outs with runners on first and second. It's Kojak, who is overdue playing well. Uh, Splendid's accuracy has started to dip into the just stand there territory. As is pretty obvious. Ball three, no strikes. Don't exactly know why we went for that, but I'm rather glad we did. As, uh, as we'll go for the double. Kojak will get out, but not before we get a run off it. That's baseball strategy, people. Yeah, should have kept Kojak on first. Nah, that's all right. It happens. We've got a run. Oh, and it, uh, Larry Splendid is now completely devoid of any hope in the world. Good. Failure there. Notices the absence of hope and pings one over the fence. Boom shakalaka. Bulldozer power. And uh, that's our 50th home run of the day. Yeah. It's just embarrassing, isn't it? It's, isn't it just embarrassing? I mean, the fans are going to set fire to the team bus of Peninsula Transport after this game. Although they won't be on the team bus, of course, because this is a home game for them. Which I would suggest makes this worse. Uh, you've seen what fans have been known to do to their teams after the team wins. Just imagine what happens after a result like this one. Yeah, they're all going to be killed by their fans. Uh, here's Zoltan. He's had a nice go. Uh, Mercury got uh, got a, a walk there. I think he saw it, but, you know, we've seen a lot today. And and these things can go missed, you know. They can they can slip past the... No, that one's not even close, Larry. Do you want me to give you another couple of chances? There you go. How was that? Yeah. I don't think you can throw three strikes in a row, Larry. I don't think you can. I don't believe it's possible for you. Zoltan strikes out. Ah, I, had a f I thought he might. No, he's going to reinforce his confidence if you're not careful. It's Steve Morrie. 
goes to the first one because we've we've done all the work we need to do today so steve gets it over nice and quickly because all steve wants to do is go for the uh the post victory slap up meal and this leaves us three outs three outs needed for a an historic win this would be our largest victory in the last two three seasons maybe even four seasons uh, were we able to keep the gap as it currently is? Caps lock. We can't quite reach it. And, uh, oh my goody aunt. We're all over the place. Uh, just calm it down, people. Now is not the time to start making mistakes. Now is the time to just, you know, remain competent. You know, we haven't had particularly... Well, we have had some remarkable play today, actually. We've certainly had some play that, that I would consider to be abnormal in its quality. So, uh, you know, if we can if we can just drift back to our usual standard, it would be adequate. Uh, Mercury's underneath that one, waving for it. One away. Two to go. Here's their pitcher. I reckon they'll take him out. Yep. Here's Shep Rotten coming in to pinch it. Oh, and Crank Fonz has been substituted as well, bringing in Jackson Clown Car in his place. Okay, he's got contact versus right-handed pitchers. I am a right-handed pitcher. Oh, no. Strike one. Great pitch, Buster. Great pitch. Just a great pitch. There's strike two. Another good pitch. And come on, Buster. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Well, he, he hasn't done it, done it, done it there. But uh, it, was, uh, it was a worthwhile effort. Certainly noble. And they're going for home. And I think they're going to get it. Yep. Oh, well, uh, that's all right. Three runs. We've still got a lead of 22. And one out. They have a runner on second. And uh, it is uh, Mighty Buffon who's uh, who's up to uh, up to back. Kojak. Uh, she she made the stop. Can we get it done? Yes, we can. We got it done there, and that's two outs. Here's PayPal Event Horizon. Uh, has he still got the? You know what? I'm not batting to you. I'm not. I'm not throwing to you, son. No, you can walk. Yep. Take it away. There you go. That's it. Yeah. Oh, Steve couldn't quite keep hold of that one, which is a bit of a disaster. Uh, okay, yeah, so they managed to, they've got uh, runners at the corner now. Uh, corners, rather. And it's, uh, it's Kira refund up to bat. Isn't it a day of firsts, everybody? Uh, a deliberate pitch out. And, uh, oh, well, that's, that's about it for, uh, for, <laughs> for Buster. <laughs> <laughs> I should laugh. He's on my team. Um, yeah. Oh no, he's he's completely dead. He's de he's deceased. <laughs> I was just thinking maybe I should take him out just to put this one away, and then uh, that decision was rather rather taken away from me. Uh, right, Tulip, just put this one over the line, would you? Thank you. All right, there we go. But, I mean, on a more serious note, though, that's now two pitchers that we're down and one who is not allowed to pitch ever again uh, in the in the form of ominous Bob, uh, and that could give us some depth problems if we're not careful. Was it worth it? Yeah, yeah, it was totally worth it. But that's not the point. That was got as far as Cindy. Good stop from Cindy. Game's over. Thank you, Tulip. Uh, and uh, just in case you're just catching up, Bulldozer Power won that one by all the runs. 25 to 4, the final score. And uh, it's it just, just marvellous. We outscored them in every single inning. Uh, even, the, even the final inning in their comeback, we still outscored them. Yeah. Good, good work all round. Uh, some very strong batting performances, uh, with the exception of. I'm not calling out. Well, Kojak wasn't all that today. She wasn't. You're right. But she may have only had two hits, but she got on base a couple of times, and she did bat in a couple of runs. So, uh, so there you go. Vivian Crumble given the win. Three strikeouts for her. She, pulled, she played very well, and we're very happy as a result of that. Your three stars of the day. So Ulysses failure with two home runs, two, uh, two base hits, uh, five runs batted in, and six runs in total. Jack Mercury. Uh, three or four at bats. Uh, he got a home run, a two base hit, uh, five runs batted in, five runs in total. Zoltan, Zoltan, two home runs for Zoltan, who should have been today's 
star player. Well, Roddy Nora, friends. Anyway, let's crack on. Colonel School, 0-6, are playing the 4-2 uh, and two Lingo Blend All-Stars. Jeff with Boats pitching for Colonel School. Uh, Jim, Big Guns Leviathan, is uh, pitching for the All-Stars. Colonel School start brightly enough, but uh, the Lingo Blend go... <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, the Off City Axemen are taking on the Pathfinders. 4-2, and two, plays 2-4. Two and four. It's uh, Cole Warehouse pitching up against the likes of Pip Strobe, like Gertie Wrench and Pamela Mustard. Uh, uh, the, the Axeman there with an early lead, but the uh, Pathfinders come back to win that one, which is important in a whoop whoop division, as it keeps it tight. Here's the Bumson Medics, yes, and they're taking on the Grunt Auto group. Uh, you've got Bronson Farside pinching for Grunt, uh, who uh, is looking at Exponential Tyrone as the uh, as the lead off batter for the Medics. Uh, the Medics start the scoring, but once again, Grunt Auto group come back again, uh, leading to a GIG win. Failywood Hills playing the Steganauts. Failywood Hills 3-3 three three at the moment. Steganauts 2-4. and four. They're going to need a win here to keep their season on track. Uh, but uh, both of these are middling teams, and it's Failywood Hills that come away with the win, which puts them top of the Sloganator division for now. Stardos of Human Resources are playing the Port Megan's Pirates. Both teams having started strongly with 5-1 and one records. Can either of them, well, presumably one of them will win this and therefore build on that record, and it's Stardos of Human Resources getting it done giving them a lead of one game in the wood chipper. Grunt Auto Group's back in action again against the Colonel Space Agency. And uh, they started the scoring, and as, as is so often the case, the other team then came back again, the Space Agency won that one to take their record of 3-4 and four for the season so far. The winless budget roadies are uh, away to the Peninsula Transport team, who just took an absolute thrashing. Uh, they are coming back, though, and lost. Handing Budget, their first win of the year. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Here's the Sunshine Fun Bus playing Cheerio Inc. Xena Dark pitching for Cheerio Inc. does not have the best stats that one would imagine to see. The likes of Barry Science, Charles Monkey Cage and Ethan Hogwash is uh, going to try and uh, capitalise on a bad pitcher and do so. 9-1, to one, the final score there. Is the Sports Ball Union next playing against the Erg Mellonflex Chroniclers? Both teams with two wins so far this year will be looking for a win here. And one of them will find it, but only if they dig in the right part of the field. And it's the Chroniclers who get that done to maybe turn their season around. Or is it too soon to tell? The Grazer Ridge team are taking on the Nomads. And uh, Grazer Ridge are losers. There we are. Good. Nomads now 7-1. Seven 7-1. and, one. Seven and one. Best record in the league at the current time. Uh, the Beekeepers 4-3 and three, take on the Picks Creek Miners also 4-3. And, three. and uh, the Beekeepers, last season's runners-up, managed to come away with the win there to put them top of the Colonel Cam division. Bongolia Sea Raiders are taking on the Wretched Minstrels. 5-2, and two, plays 3-4. and four. The Sea Raiders started brightly. Uh, but then got smashed into tiny little pieces by a Minstrels team that has smashed a few teams of tiny little pieces this season. Will we see them in the postseason? You'll have to wait until the postseason to find out. Uh, the Off City Axemen, meanwhile, have absolutely destroyed the Pathfinders to take them to just one and a half games back in the whoop whoop behind the Sunshine Fun Bus. Lingo Blend All Stars back in action now against the Bumps and Medics. Uh, palindromic scorelines of 5 and 2, 2 and 5. Uh, it is the All-Stars who are the favoured team here with Chief Otto Parts, Justine van der Poel and Christopher Biscuit, their top three batting people in the lineup. But the Medics have put on a show and an upset to boot as the All-Stars drop a game that they were expecting to win. Failywood Hills taking on the Steganauts. Uh, Steganauts still looking to try and uh, return to a .5 kind of a record. And this is the game in which they do it, or at least get closer to it as they now sit on three and five let's have a look at the standings in uh, wood chipper over in fail brigade you've got the stardos of human resources team on six and one closely followed by the port megan's pirates on five and two very close those two are going to be neck and neck all the way colonel school forget about them oh and seven they're done here the bombastic division sees the nomads out front with the best record in the league, seven and one. Colonel Space Agency in second with third of three and four, and Grazer Ridge with three and five. Those two are going to scrap it out. But remember, it is only, only, the divisional winner that gets to go to postseason. 
Down to the fish tank division, Grunt Auto Group are out in front on four and four, but this is a bit of a nothing division so far. Bumson Medics, three and five. Peninsula Transport, three and five. Ooh, dear. Battle Plan Division now, and Bulldozer, tra uh, Bulldozer Transport? No, Bulldozer Power are out in front. My team, the one I control, the name that I never forget, are out in front. Five and two versus five and three for the Lingo Blend All-Stars, who are just half a game back. The Budget Roadies got their first win in this recent sequence, are now one and six, but I think we can probably count them out. Switching over to the Bad Company Conference, and you've got the Sunshine Fun Bus out in front on six and one. Just behind them, nipping at their heels with an axe, is the Ob City Axeman. Ah, the Ob City Axeman. I think you can use is, given that Axemen, plural. Yeah, but it's still only one team. Okay, grammar people, make your case in the comments. Uh, the Red Star Pathfinders are in third place in the division on three and five. They're not out of it yet, but they might as well be. Sloganator division, Failurewood Hills up front on four and four. This is going to be a very closely contested division as well, with the Chroniclers and Steganauts both with three wins. Steganauts trailing on the basis of having one uh, extra loss and a run difference that you'd rather not look at. In the Zesty division, it is the Bongolia Sea Raiders up front with five and three. The Minstrels, though, are gaining fast with four and four and a plus 17 run difference. Sportsball Union back on two and six are probably not going to be with us in the postseason. In the Colonel Cam, it's the Beekeepers up front. Are they going to make it to the postseason for the second time in a row? Yes. The Picks Creek Miners in second, Cheerio Inc. in third. There's only two games separating first and third, but it's still early days yet. We've got the budget roadies up next. Oh, lovely. And we will be hoping to win that. Ominous Bob is up in the pitching rotation, but the one thing I can tell you for absolutely certain, Ominous Bob is not going to be up in the pitching rotation. I won't allow it. It's not allowed. Not in this house. Not today. Not on my watch. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe to this channel in order to keep up with more sports action. And then you will receive more sports action. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch up with you soon. Cheerio.